All praise. We told Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we praise Him, we thank Him. Indeed, there is no God worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the only one who deserves our praise and thanks. We depend on Him and seek our refuge from Him, from the evil actions of our souls. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We send our greetings and blessing upon His Prophet and Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa the one who struggled to convey a message. His companions and his family and who deviates from his path will be a loser. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he commanded you to fear him. Today's topic is instructions we must implement in Ramadan and follow. First is repentance. A believer must seek repentance all the time and everywhere. Also intentions. It is the basis of all actions done by the heart. Without int intentions, your actions will not be accepted and will, not, will be rejected. The intentions for fasting can be any time during the night of Ramadan, even before Fajr. Intentions is the determination by the heart to do the good actions without uttering it with your tongue. The majority of the scholars said intentions is a condition for fasting. In the Shafi'i school, it is a pillar for fasting. It is recommended every day while others said just the first day of Ramadan you make the intentions. And also preserve your salah, and which is also the taraweeh from it. The Prophet ﷺ prayed taraweeh, then he started fearing it would be a compulsory or it would be a hardship on his ummah. The companions prayed taraweeh in congregation and by themselves alone. It unites the Muslims while they recite the Quran and expecting the reward. And there are types of people in Ramadan. They divide in groups. The first group is the one that do not care if Ramadan comes or not. Even though they claim they are Muslim, their main concern is the desires and the pleasures and they forget that the hereafter. The second group, they welcome Ramadan and they are worried. They view Ramadan as a heavy guest. If they fast, they are not happy and they do not see any benefit in fasting because they see Ramadan as a burden that they cannot fulfill. That is why they are sad to see Ramadan. The third group is they are happy when Ramadan is here not for the month of worship or the gates of the heaven open or the gates of hell are shut. Neither it is the month of the Quran and forgiveness and the multiple rewards in it or they will be saved from hellfire. Rather they are happy because Ramadan to them is the time they go after their desires and pleasures in this month of Ramadan. They spend the nights watching movies and TV shows. They party and eat and drink. They sleep during the day so they do not feel the hardship of fasting and at night they stay up and waste their time and play. And the fourth group is the group, the ones who know the value of Ramadan. They understand the wisdom from the fasting of this month. They are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they can reach this month. Once Ramadan comes, they are so happy they would prepare for this month and gear up for it, seeking its reward and hoping to see Ramadan many years to come. In a different view where some would understand the wrong way or from a different philosophy view, they see Ramadan as depriving yourself or religious act, while civilization and modernization are advancing of evolution. So why follow a religious belief that would delay you from moving forward in technology and they do not fast and also they will eat in public in the open. Making fun and mocking those who fast, accusing them of their minds and the way they think how they fast. And others see that you are starving yourself and dehydrating the body while some would see this month as a way to stay up all night partying, eating the best food, and they would sleep all day until the night. These types of people will have a very arrogant way, and they would lack the, du the duties of their job or anything they do during the month of Ramadan. The ones who admire the month of Ramadan, they see it as a school to discipline the soul and elevate it with morality and characters. And for those who claim that fasting would delay advancing of civilization, they, they, they should ask the doctors and understand the health benefit of fasting. Those who give up and have a weak faith, but they believe it is an obligation, we tell them that fasting is only hours during the day. You can handle it. If you could not bear to fast these hours, you could not face the enemy. The defeat comes from within. That will make you lose a battle every time you, before even starts. Those who see that being hungry during the month of Ramadan and would enjoy the nights in front of the TV screens or they would spend their time in shopping centers and nightclubs or the party tents in Ramadan where they make party tents they should sleep they, they, they just sleep before Fajr when, when, when Fajr comes and then they go to sleep and then they sleep the rest of the day they deprive themselves from all the goods that Ramadan 
offers. Like nations or, or individuals are like nations, they need to rest during their life journey. It must take a rest in faith and a peace of mind so it can renew itself and remedy any matters or defects. These resting points are the dividers between the individuals and the nations. If you know how to benefit yourself from, from, to benefit yourself and have gained the key, you have gained the key to all the goods and a success when facing challenges and an everlasting victory in the, in the future because you take rest and you renew very, very yourself like this month of Ramadan. So Ramadan is the resting point to correct the Ummah history and to correct ourselves. Every fasting individual who knows the true meaning of fasting never gives up and always seek a life of dignity. The fasting individual who fasts willingly and to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willingly and get too close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he, do not, he does not see all the desires and the pleasures that can destroy this ummah. But he always a free man and nothing can put him down. And he will live with dignity because he implements the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also finally, do not engage in vain talk like gossip and obscenity and no animosity or arguments. If, if, this, if you serious to be forgiven in this month, do not let a worthless TV show or a degraded video to waste your precious time in the month of Ramadan, especially the contest shows which are like gambling or corrupted shows or website. Make prayers during your fast and make sure you eat suhoor, which is the meal before fajr, which differentiates us from the people of the, uh, of the book. And also those who welcome Ramadan only to starve during the day and play in the nights and read the Quran only by the tongue and sleep all day and stay up all nights, they will not benefit nothing from Ramadan. Unlike those who welcome Ramadan as a school to renew their faith, discipline the soul, that would make your soul stronger, they are the ones who will benefit from Ramadan. And Ramadan will leave them and forgive their sins when Ramadan is over. They are the ones who the, need this Ummah needs, who will correct this Ummah. And today we need people like them. And do not forget the Aqsa from your du'a.